has thousands of lives short. The test catches fungal meningitis in HIV-positive people before they start showing symptoms. The disease is the second biggest killer uh, of HIV-infected patients in South Africa. Meningitis kills almost as many HIV-positive people in South Africa as tuberculosis. A new test that is due to be given to 250,000 people each year will detect the disease early and hopefully save lives. Patients who are HIV infected with a CD4 count below 100, and those are patients with AIDS. So you screen their blood for the presence of this fungal antigen and you treat them um, appropriately. Um, and that of course will reduce mortality. The disease is caused by a fungus that gets into your bloodstream and travels to your brain. Healthy people's immune systems fight the fungus off, but those with HIV often succumb to the illness. About 100,000 HIV-positive people will become infected with meningitis in sub-Saharan Africa every year. Until now, doctors in South Africa had to wait until the patients started showing symptoms, such as having terrible headaches before starting treatment. The disease is so deadly that these delays to treatment mean that about 70% of patients will die. Social problems surrounding the treatment of HIV, such as people not knowing their status, also affect the spread of the disease. We expected that over time, with the expansion of South Africa's antiretroviral treatment program, that we would see a decline in the number of cases. But that's not what's happened. The number of cases has stabilized. And it's because of this um, leaky cascade of care where people are not accessing treatment or um, not staying on treatment. It is believed that many patients die at home without ever seeking treatment. If found with a fungus, patients need a year of treatment. Teresa Taylor, Johannesburg.